Thank you all for uh, joining us here in Tampa for this great event. Uh, I want to thank our speakers for being here, but most importantly, I want to thank the Schrader family for allowing us to be here. Uh, we've had several events here in Tampa, absolutely. Um, for those who I have not yet met, uh, my name is Stowe Bishop. I'm the content manager for the Mises Institute. Uh, being able to work for these organizations is one of the great honors of my life because of how important its service is. And for all of the great qualities of the Institute, the great ideas, the great books, these great heroes of liberty, I think one of its greatest qualities is the people it attracts. And the Schrader family, I think, is a great testament to it. And they have a wonderful family. Um, they do great work in their community. Um, they understand the odds that are against us, um, you know, particularly in the, the education field. And the topic today is one of the most important subjects of our time and one that is perhaps the, the worst taught. And that's, of course, the topic of inflation, causes, consequences, and cure. Now, we have right now an economic system that is largely built upon gaslighting the public about the state of the real economy. We have very official government stats that come out to reassure us that the government's doing just fine, right? We've got these great jobs numbers. Then you look at the jobs numbers, and it's a lot of part-time work. It's a lot of government jobs really producing a lot of great things there. We get inflation numbers that uh, they take out, you know, little things like energy and food prices. Who needs that? Um, and they use it to give cover to the Fed to project what their policies are going to be, right? That, that price of money, that, that little thing. Um, that they manipulate, um, and it creates a society, an economy of haves and have-nots. And it should be no surprise that we have younger generations moving away from capitalism and free markets, the importance of property rights, when they see an economy rigged against them. And it's rigged against them because of a culture of inflation, a systemic baking in of inflation that benefits certain classes and hurts those most vulnerable, particularly newer generations. I've had a lot of people come up uh, already in this event and asked me for recommendations at our great table over there. Um, if you want some book recommendations, talk to me after. But one of my favorite handouts that we have is this little one from uh, Guido Holzman, uh, and How Inflation Destroyed Civilization. And one of the, uh, it's a topic, of a passion project of uh, Guido Holzman that looks not simply at the economic consequences, right? Numbers go up, prices go up, particularly here in Florida, housing prices go up, um, but deals with the non-economic consequences, the cultural consequences. Um, the podcast that I do with uh, Ryan McMake and Radio Rothbard, um, and I've, I've had peop several people come up saying that they're big fans, and so thank you guys for, for listening. Um, but last year we had a, an interview with someone from Nigeria who talked about the consequences of inflation in his country. And there, when you have inflation hit an already poor nation, what he saw was we've had a massive revival in voodoo. People doing heinous acts, killings, um, engaging all sorts of, of horrible behavior. Because when you have inflation, again, affecting already poor people, people get desperate. People become worse off. Uh, they don't see a future of hope, of growth. And people are capable of very dangerous things when they lack that hope. Now, the Mises Institute stands to give hope to people, to replace bad ideas with good ideas. Um, you know, these institutions that we have built, this ideological capture of the economics profession, these are not inevitable. They are the result of bad ideas. And as Mises said, the only way to defeat bad ideas is by replacing them with good ideas. And that has been the mission of the Mises Institute ever since its founding. Now, I know we have a lot of people that have been to Mises Institute events in the past. For those that have not, um, the Mises Institute was founded in 1982 by Lou Rockwell. The Institute exists to promote teaching and research in the Austrian School of Economics, individual freedom, honest history, and international peace in the tradition of Louis von Mises and Murray Rothbard. We believe that our, foundation, our foundational ideas are of permanent value, and we oppose all efforts at compromise, selling out, and, uh, dis and uh, uh, watering down these ideas with fashionable political, cultural, and social doctrines amicable to their spirit. Now, we're very excited. This is our first event with our new president of the Mises Institute, the great Tom DeLorenzo. Absolutely. Often one of the great measures of man is his enemies, and Dr. DeLorenzo has been attacked by uh, 
leading Democrats on the Financial Services Committee, uh, the Washington Post, the New York Times, and the Southern Poverty Law Center, um, which I think are great testaments to his impact in his career. <laughs>